I know you spend a tremendous amount of time researching and forecasting. So what do you see as the future of wireless networking? You know, that is true. I spend a lot of my time uh, looking at the research, looking at the market statistics, where things are going, what people are doing, what the market is predicting will be done in the future. And I can tell you two things right away that I think are key here. The first one is Wi-Fi is not going anywhere. So there was a lot of discussion for, I don't know, probably the last five years or so of is 5G in the cellular world going to come along and replace Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi will go away? The answer to that is an unquestioning no. I'm absolutely certain of it. 5G is not going to in any way slow the growth of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is going to continue growing at a similar rate to what it has over the last decade. So I'm not expecting any kind of a decline in that. Uh, there are new applications of Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi being used for IoT, for example, that are going to drive more Wi-Fi implementation. And there are new capabilities of Wi-Fi that are giving us new possible applications of it, which will drive continued implementation. So we're going to continue to see Wi-Fi grow and expand over the next decade. Therefore, here at CWNP, we'll continue to grow the Wi-Fi track as the demand for it is there because it's something that is very important to make sure those people still have that knowledge. So that's the first thing. Wi-Fi is not going anywhere. The second thing is that wireless IoT is going to explode. Now, I, I've started saying this a couple of years ago. It's going to explode in growth, but the thing is it already has. Um, so what happened with COVID-19 was a realization that we needed some technologies in place that we thought were going to be nice to have eventually. And, and we would get these technologies eventually in the future, somewhere down the road. And some companies, you know, they had projections to do it by 2023. Some looked at 2025 and, and so forth down the road. And what happened was because COVID-19 came, we needed to figure out a way to be able to bring people back to work, particularly in, in factories and industrial environments and warehouses and things like that, where with current technologies we use today, you need humans in there to do this work. And in order to do that, we needed to do contact tracing. We needed to do, to do health detection through automatic sensing as people came into a facility, for example, checking their temperature to make sure that it wasn't high. This kind of thing being done on an automatic basis so that we could help to slow, reduce, or diminish the spread of COVID within these work environments. So what happened then was by the end of 2020, we saw implementations of IoT in many sectors that weren't expected to be at that level until 2023 or 2024. Some weren't expected to be done until 2025, and they were done at the end of 2020. So we saw a huge growth there. And the other thing that that taught companies is companies looked at that and said, look, we were able to do this. It wasn't as expensive as we thought it would be. It wasn't as big of a problem as we thought it would be. In fact, we were able to get it done on rapid scale. So let's start looking more seriously at the implementation of these other technologies. Therefore, I think we're going to see somewhere between 60 and 70 billion IoT devices deployed worldwide by 2025, 2026 timeframe. And we're going to see well over 100 billion, maybe even close to 200 billion devices by 2030. Now I'm talking about the end devices primarily, but mixed in there is, of course, all of our gateways and devices that they communicate through as well. So what does this mean? Well, even if you only need one person to manage 10 million IoT devices. That's still an awful lot of people that you need to manage 200 billion, okay? But the truth is one person's likely not gonna be managing 10 million. Probably you will see one person once implemented managing 100,000 in times and sometimes 200,000, but it's probably more likely that we'll see a linkage of more like one person per five to 10,000 devices being managed. And if we think about that, that's driving an awful lot of new talent that we need that knows IoT in the coming decade. So the two big things, again, are, you know, if you're on the Wi-Fi journey and you're learning about Wi-Fi, don't stop. It's not going anywhere. If that's your key point of interest, keep learning about it. 
And if you're on the wireless IoT journey, you're about to see a huge growth in demand for the people that understand how to plan, deploy, secure, and manage these IoT networks. So there is a lot of this in our future, and it's just going to continue to grow.